I wasn't aware of this uh, singing career that you put out an album at one point in your in your life. But did you ever consider singing as a career? I don't mean, uh, you know, maybe maybe even not being an actor because I, this this video and I don't know how many people have seen it on the internet, but it blew my mind. When you get up with Sting, I don't know where this happened. You sang uh, "Driven to Tears," right? Yes. How did that come about, and where was this? It was his birthday, and rather than having a party, he wanted to do a fundraiser for, I think, the Beacon. Right. So he got a bunch of people together, and he knows that I can sing, but he needed to rehearse me a lot. Okay, but that's what I want to ask. He knew. How did he know you can sing? Had he heard your album? Uh, I, I mean, I'm no, he, he and Trudy and I and Susan are all pretty close, and uh, know no each kidding other for for some time. Yeah. Like you'll go over to their house and hang. Matter of fact, Trudy sent over some uh, balloons and flowers for the kids and misses. No kidding. Our, yeah, that's right. Th you is like that, that the, Robin? Is that the that's best part? Cool. I do like that. Yeah, and he, did you ever privately sing with him? Is that how he knew you could sing? In other words, you're hanging out with right. Sting? I'm going to tell you the whole story. Great. All right. That's what I want. When I was in my mid-20s, I fancied, I, I decided I was one of the great songwriters of all time. And I had this trippy little cassette tape of all my demos that were just not good. Right. <laughs> and I went to uh, one of Sting's shows, and I, I like I accosted him in like the the stairwell, and I started trying to push my cassette tape in his hand. <laughs> Great. And he did what I do to people now. I make right. sure that that's all that's in their hand. <laughs> you you wrestle I, them to the yeah, ground. And then I take it and I like hand it to somebody who puts it in a box that you never see again. And <laughs> right. then Trudy was there, recognized me, maybe from like I don't know, less than zero or something. He was like, "Hello, Doug. Oh, so, 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 thanks for coming to the show." Right. And then she kinda, handled you. He totally handled me and made up for the fact that he kind of looked at me a little bit like, just don't hand me things. Yeah. <laughs> and kept walking. So, And you feel like such a douche, right? Because well, you, I also had a little scarab on it because yeah. he and I understood synchronicity and Carl Jung. I mean, he must. it was literally, it was a psychotic move. You were stalkerish. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, but you wanted to get your music heard by Sting. Only. Only. Yes, because he would understand. Right. I'd be opening for him in two weeks. <laughs> right. Once we finished the demos. Once he heard the tape. Yeah, I mean, look, a couple of them had promise, but let me, you know, there, have you heard of those? No, those songs no. never made it. No. So about 25 years later, yeah. Trudy goes, Robert, we were going through some of these old boxes, and old man, and we found, would you like this cassette tape back? Oh, and wow. And I said, give me that tape back. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't listen, did you? It's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> no, this They is, found the tape? Yeah, well, if they if they played it, they rewound it and put it back in the box and re-taped <laughs> Thank it. God. And so when uh, it becomes known to Sting that you can sing, and he has a birthday party, he says, I want you to come up. Now, I would think... I don't. With you, I sense you're never nervous in any of these showbiz situations. You're very comfortable getting on a stage and performing. Uh, I saw you make a speech at my birthday show. You were comfortable. I see you, you know, on, on, uh, even in these Iron Man movies and any movie I've ever seen you in, you seem loose as a goose. Seems that way. Yeah. Were you nervous when you have to go perform in front of a real audience, Sting's audience, and sing his song? Uh, I, I was nervous. But right before I walked in here, because I watched the show all the time and listened to the show, and I don't believe that. All right, you don't because you to. don't look nervous. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that an art in and of itself? Is yes. not appearing the way you're feeling. If I appeared the way I felt all the time, I would be. I'd be in a loony bin. But but wait a second. So uh, finish this with Sting. Yeah, I'm going to play this. You got to hear this. I, I want to hear. This is driven to tears. This was a great fucking performance. Listen. How can you say that you're this not is you. responsible? <laughs> what does he have to do with me? What is my reaction? What should it be? Confronted by this list is a chastity. I mean, I don't know how many times this clip has been viewed, but I've watched it several times. Sting, or people who know how to really uh, perform and include other people, they'll often... Let the other person shine. Let the other person okay. shine and back them up. Right. There is... He is a practically perfect performer in every way. Was that a <laughs> thrill for you to do? Or, you, or is it just another day in the life of Robert Downey Jr.? That was very exciting. 
So when you put out a uh, album, uh, what was it called, The Futurist, yes, right? Sir. That was a, a serious attempt at a musical career. So you gave it some thought. I gave some thought. I also had I had I had free time because I wasn't all that sought after. In, uh, that was during the years profession. you weren't acting that much. That's right. Right. But the very, lean years. Very diplomatic. Di- ver- yeah, right. Well, yeah. I mean, seriously. Yep. It, it, it's true. And, and so you said, okay, I'll put out an album and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. And that didn't happen, but you can't sing. Thanks, Harry. Well, why don't, you, why don't we start a band? I'll, I'll fuck around with you in the, uh, you know. If oh, a super group? A super group. <laughs> if you're not kidding, we can light the world afire. Oh, my God. Do you realize how many people would <laughs> buy tickets for that? <laughs> 